Hi, this is Tom, KN6Q, and I've got a stock Ameritron AL811 amplifier, um, and what I decided to do was uh, replace the 811A tubes in it for 572B uh, tubes from DX Engineering, and uh, so it should give me a little bit more power out, uh, but more importantly, it should let me uh, use uh, higher duty modes at uh, full power without uh, hitting the AL811 tubes and burning them out too fast. Um, so I'm going to run through some tests with uh, amplifier the way that it is now. Uh, with the 811A tubes in it, and then I'm going to swap the tubes out, put the 572B tubes in, and run through those same tests again. Okay, so I've got my transceiver here set on 20 meters for 50 watts out. I've got my stock AL811 amplifier. Um, it's uh, in bypass right now. So I'm going to send a test signal and see what the watt meter shows. And it's reading right at about 50 watts. So now I'm going to turn the amp on and it's, I've already tuned it so it's tuned for max out or pretty close. And change the scale on the watt meter here. And so with 50 watts of drive, just under 300 watts out. Okay, so now I'm going to increase my transceiver power to 65 watts. And some test signal here. And so now we're somewhere between 300 and 400 watts. Uh, let me do it again real quick and read the grid and the plate. So we're at the plate current's at 350 and the grid is right over 50. So we're still well within the parameters for the amp. Now I'm going to change the drive to 75 watts. Five watts here, and we're at a little over 400. And for grins, I'm going to go up to 95, and I'm going to pay attention to the plate and the grid here. So I'm at 450 on the plate and 100 on the grid, so well within it. There and I'm between 400 and 500. It looked like it was pretty close to 500. Let me flip it real quick again. Yeah, somewhere, call it 475. So now I'm going to replace the uh, 811A tubes with uh, 572B tubes uh, from DX Engineering and uh, see what difference it makes. Again, this was all on 20 meters. Um, with the various parallels. Okay, so I've got the cover off here. All the cables disconnected and the power disconnected. Uh, ground still connected. I'm going to see how tough it is to take these old tubes out. There's that one. Get this out without removing the parasitic. All right, all the old ones are out.
All right, I got the new ones unboxed and ready here. I'm gonna start with the back. Make sure I line it up with the holes correctly. And the last one here. All right, easy peasy. Now just uh, screw everything back together, get the cover back on, and uh, we'll fire her up. Okay, I've got the cover back on. Uh, radio's still not hooked up, but uh, the power's uh, back hooked up to it. I'll we turn it on real quick and make sure nothing catches on fire, and I'll uh, hook the radio and stuff up to it. Very nice. Love the glow of vacuum tubes. All right, let me get everything reset up here. through the same test that I did last time. Um, I've got the ant tuned for highest power out, hopefully. Uh, I got it close. Um, and so I'm going to start with the transceiver is set for 50 watts out and the amp is in uh, standby. So the meter showing about 50 watts out. That's good. And now I'm going to the amp and operate. Change the scale. And so now I'm going to drive the amp with, uh, with 50 watts. And now we're just under 500 watts. And again, let me see what the grid and the plate are at. Alright, the plate is at about 475 and the grid current is at 60. are swapped out the plate can go up to uh, the limit on the plate is 750 and the limit on the grid is 200 so we're, we're well within the uh, the grid and the plate max maxes for the amp uh, I will turn it up to 95 just for grins but I don't think we'll get much more out here all right this was 95 watts yeah still about the same so we're maxing out at driving it at, let me turn it back to 75 here. So we're at 75 and we're 
had at about 600 so and that's and that's about right so driving the amp at 75 watts gets gives me about the max power out and so it's showing about 600 watts uh, which is better than with the 811A tubes in there. Uh, with the 811As, we we're getting about 450 um, on, the, on the meter, maybe 475, but I think it was more like 450. Um, so, yeah, it definitely gets more power out um, at uh, less wattage. Of course, those 811A tubes were not new and they were uh, probably when it was new I didn't have to drive them so hard to get the full power out um, so I think that this will be a good upgrade for me and uh, gives me uh, more power out and uh, and I'll be able to operate on the uh, higher duty modes and uh, not worry about having to turn down the uh, uh, power on my transceiver. I can uh, leave it at, at driving at 75 watts and get the full power up. Okay, so just to wrap everything up here, uh, a couple of caveats that I, that I just thought about. Um, one is that uh, I'm using a MFJ 870 uh, watt meter, which is uh, not a bird and then not calibrated and all that good stuff. Um, so it's uh, probably not the most accurate thing in the world. But it is about the least expensive watt meter that you can get uh, that uh, will handle the uh, full power uh, from a full legal limit power from an amp. Um, and it's good enough to tune my amp, which is all I, I really care about, and that I know that I'm getting you know, good power out. Um, the other thing that I should mention is that um, even though I had to, in the past, uh, drive the uh, AL-811 um, when it had the uh, 811A tubes in it um, with less power, to get the full power out, um, the my watt meter never showed more than uh, uh, 450, 475 out max. Um, so it, it, even though you know I was having to, to drive it pretty hard to get to that max reading, um, it, it's never showed more than that before. So with the 572B tubes in there showing at about 600 watts, um, it is definitely a uh, improvement over anything that I've ever been able to put out of the amp before. Um, and, uh, it, and, you know, those results are, you know, just a, a, an estimate, uh, right? Because it's an analog meter and uh, again, it's not, it's not calibrated it's probably not the most accurate thing in the world um, but it what it does show is that with the 572 B tubes put in an AL811 amp uh, you get more power out uh, and uh, that I guarantee that it shows more power out than I than I've ever seen on the meter before so uh, I think it was I think it was a good upgrade um, the tubes are, are kind of spendy uh, now. They used to be a lot less expensive. Um, and uh, so I'm, uh, DX Engineering says that those are really uh, high quality tubes that they're, that they're having made. And so hopefully it'll give me years of reliable performance. And uh, again, I, I don't have to worry about the uh, burning up the 811A tubes, um, uh, driving them so hard, I, I'd already uh, driven them hard enough that uh, I was having to increase the power to get the, the same amount of power out. Uh, so that's it, 73, good DX. This is Tom, KM6Q.